लेकिन कुछ as far as Neelam is concerned, CNN News 18 has access details of Neelam's interrogation. Agencies are finding out how she came in touch with Maharashtra and Karnataka activists. She has leftist ideology and was staying in a PG in Hisar and was also in Mukherjee Nagar in New Delhi. She was also in touch with local farmer leaders and activists. For more details, Pallavi continues to stay with us. Pallavi, uh, throw more light on this. Interestingly, as we speak, uh, media reports are in. indicating that rakesh tiket has in fact gone on to openly uh, dismiss any sort of connection between any of the farmer organizations and neelam yes that's right but then at the same time whatever the preliminary investigation has also found that she has been in touch with some of the local farmer leaders and activists she also did take part in the kisan protests over the farm laws and you know her t- her line of thinking is supposed to be leading towards the left and the left liberal groups but as of now no terror angle found no foreign funding angle is found but you know as i said these are early days yet right. this investigation interrogation is going to take quite some time but as of now this is the first catchy information we are getting about the first round of probing which is going on Pallavi, my last question: How how crucial is it now to establish that connect? Because considering all of these uh, activists, they belong to different states in the country. Uh, what will be uh, that big question that all the security agencies will be trying to answer? I think at this point of time, it is very critical for them to figure out and also kind of. Uh, join the dots in that whether this was a pre-planned attack, uh, attack was there a coordinated uh, attempt being made to subvert the entire process? And more importantly, apart from these six accused, are there more people who are involved? And that is where the trails of phone call records and all of that is going to be helping. That's where digital mapping is also going to take place, and therefore that's where it's going to give them a clue is that whether there's a larger conspiracy in place. Right. Despite the fact that so far we have been told consistently that there's no Terror angle to it. So, was the intention to disrupt the procedure? Was the intention to disrupt peace, to stoke a kind of a panic among the MPs and the general public? These are the points that are going to be further probed. All right, many thanks to you, Pallavi, for bringing in all those latest inputs and for breaking down that entire story for us.